Well, Santa was really good to me this year and he came up with, I got this, woohoo. We're gonna do an unboxing real quick. I won't spend a lot of time on that. I think if you wanna see other YouTube videos, you can find them. But we're gonna do a quick unboxing of this. Insta360 Ace Pro, yeah, co-engineered with Leica. I've never had a Leica product before. So this is kind of a semi-Leica product. <laughs> But we're going to do an unboxing and I'll show you what's in it. Then right after the unboxing, we're going to go do some videos to see what it's like right out of the box. I'm not going to change any settings other than the ones that I have to change to get this thing working. So let's unbox it and then we will um, plug it in, charge it and get some video. I'm so looking forward to what this camera can do. I haven't had an action camera since... The Hero, GoPro Hero 3 Black Plus. Look at this, magnetic open, woohoo. Okay, let's see. And that's what we get inside. I could see the part that I'm most interested in. Oh, silica gel. A couple stickers. Think bold. I like that. Think bold. It's a little thing. It's all wrapped up and taped. We will be very delicate with it. Oh, it's my mount. This is the first mount. I'm gonna to have to order some special mounts. But this is the mount for the, uh, the GoPro mount. And then I know it comes with another adhesive mount. Please make sure to surface and clean the surface, double-sided adhesive for one-time use only. Use this cautiously, put it where you think you might wanna do it. Next is be the, this is a charging cable, USB to C to USB-C, and some instruction manuals that we will worry about when we get caught up with pushing buttons. I'm a button pusher kind of guy. That's how I like to learn things. The more I push the buttons, the better I get at it. Now, the last but not least, the baby. A little bit bigger than the GoPro, not much. It's got some weight to it. It's also got the flip up screen. And it's got a whole bunch of tabs on it that I'm gonna have to take off. Basically, that's all that's in the box. You got a camera, you got a mount, and this, if you have GoPro mounts, which I do, will work on all those GoPro mounts. You got a one-time suction mount, and you got a USB-C to USB-C cable for charging. Next is the video. Before I start, this is not sponsored by Insta360. This is a bot camera for myself. Actually, Santa brought it for me. We, we all know what that means. So this will be a fair and unbiased test. And of course, I'll test all the other little options that it has later. Right now, I'm just taking out and at the park and we'll see how the footage turns out. The only thing that I did change on the settings was horizon lock and I changed the stabilization to high. Because when I walk, I'm like a klutz and it bounces up and down, I wanna see how it does. Oh, and Katie's busy. We're just going to walk around the park and take some footage here. If you want to get creative, look at this shot. Ooh. Now I'm bouncing around and that camera's bouncing as well. We'll see how the stabilization works. Katie, come here. Come here. Good girl. All I did here was turn the camera vertical and it's in vertical 4K 60 frames a second. Sorry about the dog. There's Katie walking around sniffing. We call her Miss Sniffalots. There's her sister, Cassie. Can you see Katie in the shadow? Let's see what that video turns out to be. Okay, what I'm gonna do here now is try the double tap. Wow, that zoomed in quite a bit for an action camera. Double tap back. Well, this is like the vlog style, right? So how are the colors? I got a lime green shirt on and I could frame it. Nice thing about this, and I set it to linear. That's one of the other things that I set it to was linear so that it doesn't warp, so it doesn't show the wideness. Now I probably use that in point of view more so than vlogging. And this is kind of like a vlogging thing. So I'll flip back and forth as as I vlog and point of view shoot with my cameras. But this is just a test anyway. I want to see what it looks like on the computer. I'm just playing. It's a new toy. I like it though. I like it a lot. In and out of shadows. 
How does it handle it? Sun in the back, can you still see my face? Is it still tracking? Katie, let's go this way. Come on, let's go this way. I'm gonna try running, see how it turns out. Come on, let's go this way, over here. Okay, good stop. This is shooting into the sunlight. The skies look good on the screen. Let's see what it looks like when it's done. Beautiful. Okay, all the sound that you hear is right out of the camera. There's a little bit of a breeze. There's the ducks. I don't know if you can hear them or not. And we'll pan a little bit over this way. And there's the running water. Can you hear both? How's the sound? How's the stabilization? <laughs> this is going to be a running vlog test. Okay, so let's take a run. And the camera's shaking pretty good. And I'm running pretty good here. Jogging, really. See how the stabilization works. This is another running test. See how it goes with me doing it the other way. And here's a few photographs taken with this camera, four by three, right out of the, right out of the box. Well, that's just some sample footage from around the park and 60 frames a second, right out of the box. The only thing I adjusted was the stabilization right the stabilization for the walking and stuff i put it to high and i put it to horizon leveling i will be doing a more in-depth review on this camera keep on clicking